Hello everyone, this is Solo D. Gray. Today our topic will focus on conflict resolution. This topic falls under life skills required to adapt to change as part of healthy lifestyle choices. Uh, it's a series of lessons. The first one was released already. The title is Stress, followed by this one, Conflict Resolution Skills. And then the third one in this series is Initiating, Building and Sustaining Positive Relationships and the Importance of Communication. The fourth one is Transition between school and post-school destination. The last one is personal lifestyle plan to promote quality of life. As previously mentioned, this lesson will focus on conflict resolution. So what is conflict? Conflict is when there's a disagreement or opposing viewpoints or struggles for power between people. There are two types of conflict. There is interpersonal conflict and intrapersonal conflict. Interpersonal conflict is conflict that happens between people. It is conflict that occurs between two or more people who disagree about something. Disagreements often come down to a difference in goal, values, viewpoints, and access to resources. And then intrapersonal conflict is conflict that happens within yourself. For example, when you are uncertain about what it is that is expected or wanted, you have a sense of being inadequate to perform a task. You are experiencing intrapersonal conflict. What does conflict resolution include? It includes being assertive, meaning that you do not become aggressive, but state your problem clearly and explain which of your rights are being ignored or violated. Second, it's using I statement. Letting the other person know how you feel and respond to the problem using I statements. For example, I feel that you do not understand me when I, then you state the problem or what the challenge is that resulted in the conflict. Next is keeping your emotions or feelings under control. Keeping your feelings under control means that you do not hurt the other person physically or emotionally. Talk and do not shout. Next is do not accuse. Try not to blame the other person. Accept the conflict and then deal with it. Accept compromise. Agree on a middle situation which is not completely in the favor of one side, but not acceptable for either of you. When the conflict is over, move on. Do not refer to the previous conflict. Cool down before you express your feelings. Be in control of your feelings and emotions as they may cause more conflict and more problems. Recognize that the other person also has their own views, even if you don't agree with them. Respect the other person. If you show that you respect the other person, it will help resolve the conflict. And then lastly, be willing to make peace and seek a solution. Maintaining conflict is not a positive way of dealing with it. And with that, we have reached the end of the lesson. Please like the video if you did, share and subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.